change is in the wind. For 1970, we asked the wind to design a car. Torino, 1970. Wider, longer, lower. molded into a sweeping new aerodynamic shape. This year, go with the wind. Torino, 1970. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Well, hello, my friends. Dave Barger, Scale Model Customs. In the Scale Model Customs garage! Well, I finished the 70 Torino James Morris Appreciation Build, and I wanted to show that to you and mostly to James let you know I did actually finish a kit and uh, I think it turned out uh, you know alright turned out not too bad there were uh, you know a couple hiccups here and there I changed my direction midway um, but anyway I got it finished and uh, so let me show it to you alright hold on so here she blows people 1970 Ravel Ford Torino GT uh, painted it with scale finishes Lagoon Aqua and did not clear it and Paul did 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 actually polish it a little bit but um, there was no need for clear it came out really nice um, it's more or less stock I kind of like I kind of like the sleek look you know. Uh, I didn't add a whole lot of the photo etch that did come with the kit, although I did put some photo etch on there in the, uh, the tail light assembly. And uh, no decals. I didn't even put the door handles on. Mostly because one of them was, uh, I don't know, messed up from the factory. And I don't know, I kind of like the way it looks. Just kind of kind of sleek. It's got some, uh, some pretty neat body lines. And so I just went with it. You know, as I mentioned, the uh, interior is folk art. Uh, Craft paint, gunmetal gray. Uh, what else can I tell you about this thing? Um, pop the hood off. This is the 429. The one hiccup that I had was a, I've been trying to perfect my building of distributors, and uh, I almost had this one. This is the stock distributor, and uh, so I drilled out the top and stuffed some wires in there and uh, it ended up being too tall for the hood to clear so I basically was trying to get it to remove it back out of the block and, and uh, the distributor shaft snapped on me so I just, it's just kind of laying in there I'm just going to leave it and uh, mark that up as experience on my next distributor I build or maybe I'll just buy one um, I just realized I forgot to put the battery in. So this is a push to start vehicle. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, I got the radiator in there. Yeah, radiator support. I mentioned before I was trying to finish the, uh, the front end. So I got that all finished off. I, I did omit the front little scoop thing. Because I just thought it looked cheesy. I actually think it looks nicer without it. That's the beauty of building model cars. You can build them like you want them. And I didn't like the way it looked, so I have deleted it. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, the bottom is uh, that Tamiya NATO black. And uh, did a little bit of like grimy black weathering on the exhaust pipes. I did end up going with the stock exhaust because I did, just didn't like the headers. And I uh, wasn't happy with the headers, so I stuck those on there. Although, by the time I decided that, I already had the rear end in. And so that's why the mufflers are just chopped. But that's how we did it in the 70s, man. Right there. We didn't have no tailpipe sticking out the back. <laughs> um, you know, the main issue I had was getting it to sit down, uh, getting the body to sit down over the chassis. So, it, you know, I had to manipulate it quite a bit. I don't really like how the front sits up, how it does, but it is what it is. And we're just going to go with it. Um... The hood actually fits pretty well, but I'm, I'm one-handed here. There we go. 
But overall, I mean, uh, it was a great kit, man. It was, uh, for the most part, no, you know, no major issues. You know, I spent a lot of time, you know, prepping the body, polishing the body, priming, polishing the primer, um, and then by the time I, I shot the, the, this color paint on there, it just went on real nice. And of course, the scale finishes is, is I, I just, I think is really nice paint. I just really just dig that paint. So, um, I don't know, I'm pretty high. I think it's kind of a cool color, man. I may have to use this color again since I have still have a bottle left, so I'll try to wait a little while. But I just totally dig this color. It just turned out real nice. So, I hope you like it, James. Did this for you, buddy. I hope this provides you with some inspiration and and some hope and, and uh, knowing that... Uh, you will get through this, brother. You know, the, you just got to hang on, and uh, I bet you before you know it, you'll be back at it. I really hope you will. Um, and I hope this provides you some inspiration, and if nothing else, know that uh, we're thinking about your man, and I ho hope you get well soon and are able to uh, get back on the old bench. He's about to fall off there. I think I need to take this outside and do a photo shoot or something. So yeah, so that's about it here from the Skill Model Customs Garage. Wanted to let you know I did finish this up, and uh, I don't usually like to do group builds because it just feels like pressure to me, and uh, I tend to not finish things, so I, that's the only pressure I feel. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to do this for James. I'm happy that I was able to actually finish it, and uh, I'm ready to get back to the other ones I never finished like the 53 I want to get back on that so I just think that thing is just super cool and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that and uh, get going on that and also whatever happened to the 50 I never finished I want to finish that too I've been working on my stash got a couple new ones in there Got the uh, Hearst Olds right there. Michael's 50% off coupon. That was only nine bucks, brand new. And what else did I get? Oh, I got that Ford Ranger pickup there. Pick the, both those up before the coupon expired. And then I found the rest of these various models in my garage. Stashed away, most of them were started. Uh, a good friend of mine gave me that 64 Impala. It's brand new. I may work on that soon. Actually, I have the uh, 57 in the purple pond right now. I guess I painted it who knows when Five six years ago, and the paint just looks like hell. So uh, I'm repainting it. I'm restripping the paint I'm gonna act actually I want to work on that. So that's in there and uh, So I'm you know, I got projects man, but uh, mostly I wanted to share the 70 Torino with you guys and um, and with James James Morris and uh, knock one off on my COVID lockdown building series. I got two done. I'm slow, man. I'm slow. I'm a slow builder. I need to work on my my workflow. Try to get things done more rapidly. Not that I'm in a hurry, but just sometimes I I think the way that I build, I I tend to. Uh, work on sections and so I'm priming and painting sections that would have ultimately been the same color in other sections if I just got myself a little more organized I could uh, like paint all the black parts at once or something so um, who knows really enjoy building um, it's it's my happy place and uh, I'm super happy that uh, I can make videos again and uh, share for what it's worth what I got going on so Anyway, I will leave it at that. I want to thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Because the more the merrier. And uh, I hope you have a nice 4th nice of July. hope you're doing well. hope uh, you all be safe out there. And uh, we'll talk soon, my friends. This is Dave Parker, Scale Model Customs in the Scale Model Customs Garage. Happy 4th of July! Woo! We'll talk soon, my friends. Bye-bye.